What's up everyone? As you saw in the last video, my mirror broke off. So in this video, I'm just trying to figure out how to fix it. From what I read, I need to try to find a position that best exposes this part of the mirror. Here's a close-up on that piece. Right now, I was just curious on what this stuff was on the surface, but then I quickly gave up on that after I saw that it would just flake up into tiny pieces everywhere. Then I moved on to getting the mirror out. From what I read, I had to use that top piece to turn the mirror holding mechanism. I was struggling for a while and could not seem to get it to budge. So I went back and moved the mirror to point out a little bit more. Then eventually I got it. Now look, initially looking at the piece, I still had no idea how it stayed on the mount. So I started peeling off these soft pieces because I was thinking it would be glued on or something like that. But that was a dumb move. Don't do this. I think this probably helps the mirror keep it from rattling. Then I moved on to disconnecting the wires, which was easy to do. Also, knowing that my mirror only has one pair of connections instead of two determines what replacement to buy. I think the single connection is just heating and the two connection has auto dip, which I still don't know what that is. Anyways, I'm still trying to figure out how the mirror stayed mounted. Then I figured out that these circular cutouts house these circles. Then when you turn the mechanism, the top rim blocks the circles from coming back out and is just trapped under the rim. And I guess that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed watching me figure this out in these types of videos, please let me know. And don't worry, the short and concise one will still be coming soon after my mirror arrives.